Sorry about that folks, welcome back to part 2 of this stretch limo unboxing uh, Unfortunately it's happened yet again A certain someone called A-L-E-X-A -E Thought I was speaking to her and she just automatically activated And ended the video So we're going to have to make this a part, a part a two-parter So in part 1 obviously we un unboxed the limo I'm just about to have a look. So, here is the actual limousine out of the box. What a good size. So, we'll start from the front, just hold it from underneath. You, you can see through the, the window there, so that's not too realistic because obviously limousines have tinted windows uh, but because obviously it lights up and it supposedly makes a sound um, they've obviously decided not to tint the windows but I don't mind so there's the back of the limo it's got a soft top on it uh, it's probably in reality, this would probably be vinyl. With some sort of vinyl, vinyl roof, or some sort of fabric. The yeah, actual limousine is metal. Doesn't say anything on the number plate. And the reverse lights are not modelled. The rear lights are there. It would be nice if the headlights and the rear lights actually work. Petrol cap there. I'm not sure if the doors open. Looks like they possibly could because that one doesn't look closed properly. There's a gap there in the roof. What are those? It damaged. Hmm, strange. No, no, it's all right. So this, this, it's one of the doors are a bit loose. So I'm presuming they do open. The doors open, and there's the front of it. Now. Not too badly modelled. Obviously, the grill isn't. Uh, the grill is modelled correctly. So there's no number plate there. Uh, this is actually a Lincoln, Lincoln Town car. Uh, but this is a slightly older model. The newer Lincoln Town cars, uh, the grill is a slight, um, uh, more or less the same, but it's a bit more squared rather than rounded at the bottom and the headlights don't actually go all the way down to the down to the grill uh, on the newer type they sort of slant downwards the shorter looking headlights um, but I have been in a Lincoln I have been in a Lincoln limo like this um, I know Prestige Limos have got one. I went all the way to Blackpool in, uh, which has got the same sort of front design as this one. So it's a very nice colour. Let's just see if the doors do open or not. They do. They do. Is there any cockpit detailing in there? There's. Very slightly. Ah, I see. It's a, it's a European base model. So that's not very realistic because obviously no limousines are right-hand drive. They're all left-hand drive. So the steering wheel is on the wrong side. Obviously, for those people who are watching who don't live in the UK, uh, I don't, you, you might, you're all probably used to left-hand drive vehicles, but in the UK, where I'm from, 
we drive on, you drive on the right side of the road, we drive on the left. So obviously at we're right hand drive. Uh, they've modelled, they've modelled this limo like a sort of a British right-hand drive vehicle. I'll just open the other door for you. At the front, the driver's door. There you go. You can see the steering wheel there. There's actually some dashboard detailing there as well. Look at that. Got all like the buttons and levers and look at that. It's even got the little pedals. Got the accelerator and the brake there. That's very well detailed. Brilliant, isn't it? Very, very good. Uh, is there even a, oh no, there's no rear view mirror. That's the only thing that's missing. Close that then. We'll have a look in the middle window, see if we can see anything. No, there's not, that's just a um, transparent um, piece of plastic there. So I'm presuming that's where the lights are. You can see the detailing there, as well on the side of the limo, where the little uh, coach lighting would be. Um, nowadays these are usually consisted of pin dot LED lights. So uh, these these are usually lit up at night times. Um, just uh, there's a way of sh well, I suppose it's a way of showing that the limo is there. Um, but also, I think it makes the limo look look quite nice as well at night. There's the back doors. They do open, but they're very, very, oops. I don't know if you heard that, it actually does make a sound. So it uh, made a sound of the ignition starting up, and it uh, sound of screeching to a halt, and then the two uh, bleeps, you know, there's like a car key sound. So there is the inside of the limo. So the back seat is sort of modelled. I don't know what this big black thing is on the back. I suppose it's just to weigh the limo down. And you can see in there, look, there's all the wires and that where the light is. It's got a sunroof as well. So yeah, not a lot of um, detailing. So let's see if it does anything else. I'm just going to press... There's a little button there on top, look, you can see it just by the sunroof. That's what you press down. Let's see if it makes any any other sounds. There's a little bit of music there. So it looks like it could do with some new batteries. To be honest but I'm not bothered I'm not bothered about that because you know I'm not it's I'm not going to be playing with it it's just going to be put on display so I'm not too bothered about the sound effects I mean it's a nice it's a nice feature but um, it's not going to bother me too much but yeah it's very nice um, obviously on the back again look Got the full full five back rear window on this particular limo. Some Lincoln Town cars, are, um, you, I suppose you can buy these uh, when the roof's fitted. Because a lot of a lot of these stretch limos, Lincoln limos, have vinyl or soft top roofs put on them. Um, and some of them. Uh, stretch over the back window uh, to make the the rear window look a little bit smaller. So 
suppose it's to make the uh, limo stand out a little bit more, but uh, I, I, I don't mind this. I suppose it's for added privacy, isn't it? It's like the rear windows are a bit smaller, uh, it means people can't look in, but then again, the rear window would realistically be tinted, as would obviously the door windows and the the middle window where where it's been stretched. Uh, in fact, let me just let me just bring in another limo that I've got. Um, I'll just show you on this white one I've got. This one is again. This was another toy limo. Uh, this one was actually featured in my Get to Know Me video. I wanted something as a thumbnail, so I put a picture of this limo in it. So obviously, I'm not going to show you this all the way around because this is not the one that we're focusing on. But you can see in the middle there that window is completely tilted can't see anything through that through that obviously because the doors open on this one as well there's no uh, rear windows but the rear window there that is tinted as is the front windscreen now that's not realistic because obviously the front windscreen is not supposed to be too tinted I was about to say tilted then what, what on earth and also the sunroof is tinted as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty glad that we I didn't do a review of this because you can say, look, look at that. It's just a very, very plain and simple limousine. There's hardly any detailing on that one. Well, I just wanted to use that as an example. But back to this one, you know. I suppose this one's more of a uh, die-cast collector's model. They're both metal, of course. Um, uh, the wheels do spin, as the, as do they on my other my other limo. Some 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 of these is like a pull back and go sort of action. See, like you pull it back, it click, and then you let it go, and it all go on its own uh, but this one isn't you can just push it along so yeah I uh, I'm very happy with that I've actually decided in part one I, I thought I wasn't going to put it through my scoring system but I am I am going to because uh, it is based on a Lincoln Town Car limousine and the detailing is actually quite accurate. It's accurate detailing, it just could be a little bit better. Uh, they could have modelled the indicator light, maybe the fog light, a bit more detailing on the grille. Obviously there's no rear view mirror. Um, they could have come up with a number plate or something. Uh, be nice if the trunk opened, or the bonnet, maybe maybe if the uh, or the hood, as they say in America, the hood and trunk. Don't know. That's what it. Maybe, but we call it the bonnet over here. Might be nice for that to light up, that uh, light up. Sorry, open up. Maybe a bit of engine detailing, but uh, you never know. I'm going to be trying to collect more of these limos if I see them, so... You never know, do you? So, I'm going to give it a fair 4 out of 5, I think, because it is accurately detailed for the type of limousine it's based on. But obviously there are a couple of little things I could have done to make it look a little bit more realistic. So, I'm going to give it a fair 4 out of 5. So thanks for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Actually, just before we end it, let's just have a little look underneath, see if there's any detailing underneath. There's a few. See like where the drive shaft and that is. There's the speaker. There's a screw there. So I'm presuming that's where we unscrew it to... Uh, oh no, there. That's where you unscrew it to... Um, refit the batteries. I'm presuming it takes watch batteries because that's a very small compartment. But as I said, I'm not going to bother with the batteries. When they run out, they run out. Uh, what I might see if I can do is a way to 
take that little button off the top or file it down just so it fills in the roof. Um, but then again, you know. So what I'll do is I'll just hold it up for you like that and I'm going to press the button again just to see if you can hear the the sound effects because the batteries are obviously running out. Let's see. So you had the engine ignition start up, you had the screech to a halt and the car key. And now there's a bit of music. So yeah, it's not too bad actually. Um, I think it's pretty good but yes nice little detail on the wheels as well so thanks for watching don't forget give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment subscribe if you haven't and until the next time I shall bid you good day